Hello, welcome to CM Square Learning Center. In today's chemistry lesson, I'm going to focus on this titration question from my IV past paper, 2017 May Paper 2, Time Zone 0, Question 7. Part A Sodium hypochlorite ionized in water. So let's look at this formula, this equation, chemical equations. It's an equilibrium. And the hypochlorite ion is an accepting a hydrogen ion from water. So hypochlorite ion is a bronze lowry base. It's a proton acceptor. And water is a bronze lowry acid. It's a proton donor. Part one, identify the amphiprotate species. Amphiprotate species, the definition of this is, it can accept and donate a hydrogen ion. So which means it can add its bronze lowry base and also bronze lowry acid. So actually water, as an amphiprotic species. Part two, identify one conjugate acid base pair in this reaction. You should know what is the definition of conjugate acid base pair, which is they only differ by differ by only one hydrogen ion. It's only one hydrogen ion, but not two, but not three. Yeah, so actually in this question, there are two conjugate acid base pair. The first one is water and hydroxyl ion. That's the first one. The second one is a hypochlorite ion and HOCl. You can write either one of these two conjugate acid base pair. But be careful, you should write it correctly. Which one is acid and which one is base? H2O is a bronze lowry acid, so you can write H2O acid and hydroxide ion is a base. And hypochlorite ion is a bronze base. So OCl minus is a base and HOCl is an acid. Part B, a solution containing 0.510 gram of an unknown monoprotic acid, the formula is HA, was titrated with 0.1 mol per dm cube sodium hydroxide solutions. 25 cm cube was required to reach the equivalence point. So since this is a neutralization reaction, it forms as, as it forms salt and water. And let's write down the chemical equation for this neutralization reaction. Acid plus base sodium hydroxide forming a salt and water. And the formula for the salt is NaA. Because sodium ion is one positive, is a good one metal. Sodium is a good one metal. And the N ion is A1 minus. Using the cross method, is N A A. Part one, calculate the mole, calculate the amount in mole of sodium hydroxide solution used. So you should know the equation concentration equals mole divided by volume in dm cube. So mole equals concentration times volume. The mole of sodium hydroxide equals 0 0.100 is the concentration of sodium hydroxide times the volume. Volume used is 25.0 cm cube. So 25.0 divided by 1000. So that is 2.50 times 10 to the power Negative mole. Part two, calculate the molar mass of acid. So from the chemical equation, we know the mole ratio between the acid and sodium hydroxide is one to one. So that means the acid, the mole is also 2.50 times 10 to the power negative three mole. And also you should know the formula, mole equal mass over molar mass, 2.50 times 10, negative 3 equals. The mass for the monoprotic acid is mentioned here, it's 0 0.510 gram. So the molar mass for the monoprotic acid is 0 0.510 divided by 2.50 times 10 to the power, negative 3 is 204 gram per mole. Part three, 
calculate the hydrogen ion concentration in the sodium hydroxide solutions. So we know sodium hydroxide is a strong base, which completely ionized in water. The concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.1 mol per dm cube. So which means the sodium the hydroxide ion concentration is also 0.1 mol per dm cube. Or can write it as 10 to the power negative 1 mol per dm cube. And now we use the formula for Kw. The value for Kw is 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 14. You can find this constant value from the data book section 2, the second last one. So Kw equals concentration of hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion. 1.00 times 10 to the power negative 14 equals the concentration of hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion is 10 to the power negative 1. So the concentration of a hydrogen ion is 10 to the power negative 13 mole per dm cube.